What's going on, world? Xavier Simmons here. Welcome to the process because life is not a finish line, but a journey. So, had a pretty big revelation. Pretty damn big about myself. Um, me and my girlfriend got into an argument. Right, just stuff building up. Uh, I mean, it's so long, but I, I'm just gonna tell you what I, what I got out of it. You know, because I could, I can make a part eight, part twelve, but something that I learned was I, I judge people. I, not, not even only that. I hold people to this unattainable standard of excellence or perfection, right? Um, I look at, I focus, not look at, I focus more on what people lack or do wrong instead of what they, instead of what they offer, right? No, 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 I, I rephrase that. Not, that's not something I, not something I do, but did because that is a habit that has been broken. Now that I'm... Yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm in San Andreas, so, you know, there's helicopters everywhere. It's probably the end of the world. Anyways, back to the regularly scheduled programming. I say did because that's not that's not me anymore. That's a story. That was a story. I tore up the page, threw it in the garbage. Now I'm writing a new script. So, because I'm aware, right? And I realized I did that because. That's what I did. That's what I did to myself. Held myself to this ridiculous standard of perfection or excellence and criticized myself all the time. When I didn't do something right, I'd beat myself up about it. So of course I'm going to do that to someone else because that's how I treated my own being. Right. Now, Of course I apologize. And the other thing is, you have to apologize to yourself. You know, Xavier, I'm sorry for all the times that I judged you. Every time that I ever harmed you. I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't know any better. I didn't. I wasn't taught any better. Right? You have to say that to yourself. You have to. As much as you apologize to other people, apologize to yourself. You're just doing what was familiar, what was taught to you. It was passed down. So. Life is just so beautiful. Always something to learn. There's something else I want to get to. But my mind is kind of slipping. Hell, maybe, maybe this is as long as this video is supposed to be. That's what I learned. Be accountable for yourself. Be kind to yourself, please. Be patient to yourself. Ah, ah, this, this is what I wanted to mention. Okay, so. Listen, in elementary school, middle school, high school, my mind was very damaged from what I experienced at home and just in the world very damaged, right? 
So when I got outside of school, when, you know, when I graduated from high school, I had all of this time because I, I didn't go to college right away. I, mean, I, I just, I worked, I worked, I worked. So when I wasn't working, um, you know, I was at home. I was in my room, I'm just reflecting, reflecting, sometimes angrily reflecting, being mad but still being with myself. I had all this time to be with myself. And by habit, I learned a lot, right? So my mind was very damaged. So I was healing my mind, healing my spirit, going to therapy. Just did it. I was hungry, wanting to put in the work. So I believe that's where that comes from because it's not an issue I remember having in middle school or high school, holding people up to this standard. Nah, shit, I didn't have standards for myself. What the fuck, I'm gonna hold someone else to a great standard? But I guess I had, I developed this, you know, through my healing, I developed this ideology like, listen, you know, I pulled myself up by the bootstraps Oh me, I did it. You should do it too and heal yourself, heal your mind and come on. Come on, Clay. So it's not the way, man. That's not the way. You gotta be patient to yourself, you gotta be kind to yourself. So everybody, I'm signing off. Alright? And peace and blessings to every being. I hope you all have an amazing evening. Yeah, evening. Peace out, y'all.